In this segment, I'd like to talk about um, functions, which you should have written a function already, uh, versus scripts. And these will be the two major ways that we interface with MATLAB. So I'd like to talk about the difference between functions and scripts and what they are conceptually. Um, and then um, I will show a segment where we actually show them on, on MATLAB. Um, but let's think about functions. Functions are encapsulations or bundles of statements or computer instructions that we give a name that allows us to use these statements when we call them um, at a later point in time. Um, so if I have a bunch of computer statements here that do a particular task, whether it's add some numbers or um, average some numbers or make a picture black and white or make sound go up an octave, whatever it is, you, we can bundle all of that together and give it a name. And let's just say my function. And then it becomes sort of a black box where we can give it values um, and then it will give us values back or it will do something in its internal operations. So think about a function as a way of you solving a problem and once you solve the problem you can box it up in this nice little package that you can use at a later point in time. And we'll see that in, um, in, in MATLAB and really um, in terms of computer science, that is the power of a lot of programming languages is that you can make your own functions. They come with built-in functions, but you can make your own and, um, and keep building solutions to problems and things over time. And That's really the power um, of, of programming. Scripts, on the other hand, are sort of just what they say. It, if, if you think about scripts in terms of, um, and I'm going to draw something here, uh, in terms of the movies, uh, when the director says uh, action, um, a particular script that has been written, which is a list of instructions or dialogue or what have you, um, when the director says action, that script is run. Now, um, the difference between a function and a script is that a script doesn't have a name per se. The file that contains the script has a name, but the script doesn't have a name and so therefore cannot be executed from other places. It can only, these instructions can only be run um, when you call the script. Whereas a function can be executed from within a script, from the command line, and actually even from other functions, uh, which makes it very versatile. Uh, scripts are very good when you want to just execute some commands to see what they do and to have something run just sort of on a one-time basis. Functions are better if you're trying to create something that's going to be used time and time again. Uh, so that's sort of the fundamental difference between scripts and functions. Uh, when we go into MATLAB, let me attempt to draw the MATLAB window here, um, you know we get sort of this action going on here where um, this window here uh, shows shows uh, this is your workspace and it shows the value of your variables uh, this is your history your command history and this shows all the all the statements that you've done inside the command window this is your command window down here and then up here is your editor. Okay. And then over here you have uh, your directory information. So in your editor, if you go up on the toolbar up top, um, you will be able to select uh, whether you're uh, saving a file, doing a script file or a function file. If you do a script file in your editor, you will come in here and type in your script in the editor and then you can execute uh, that script you'll hit a run there's actually a little um, green triangle up here in, in the menu uh, you click that and then that script will run it will execute that's like the director saying action and uh, whatever results that come out of your editor will show up in the command window um, 
and then you can save that over here and you would save that and it would show up as a .m file over here. Um, functions look, uh, they, they operate sort of the same. You come in the editor, you select function, but the thing about a function as we saw with your um, lesson zero is that up in the file it will start with the word function um, and have some other stuff that we'll talk about um, later. And then you can come down here in the command window and call the name of that function and actually pass it parameters and it will give a result. So uh, this is an overview of functions and scripts. Um, I'll, I'll shift to a clip and show you and explain a little bit and give some examples in, um, in MATLAB. Uh, but this gives you a basic overview of where we're going with it um, and hopefully that will be helpful in class. Now we switch over to MATLAB and I'm going to illustrate the difference or some of the differences between functions and scripts. Uh, I'm going to do that by creating a function uh, that averages three numbers and then I'm going to create a script that averages three numbers and we can uh, note some of the differences. Okay, so first of all, to create a function, I go to File, New, go to Function, and notice it gives me a template here as it did in Lesson 0. Um, I'm going to have it return the variable avg and I'm going to call it my avg that's the name of my function and it's going to take in three numbers so num1, num2, and num3 go there. Um, just a brief description I'll put averages, averages three numbers okay um, and then working through my algorithm um, in my head um, AVG is going to equal um, NUM1 plus NUM2 plus NUM3 divided by uh, 3. And that should give me the average. And I'm going to put a semicolon at the end and we'll talk about semicolons later. So then I save it. And you notice because it is a function, it puts the name of the function here. Um, and so because the name of the function has to be the same as the name of the file and it's going to store it in my MATLAB directory which is where I want it to be. So now I hit save and there you go. So now I have a function so if I wanted to average numbers I could go the three numbers I could go ABG uh, excuse me, my ABG and I could average numbers 1, 2, and 3 and it gives me the answer 2 which is correct. Uh, so now I can not only use that function here, but I can also use it in other functions that I created and also use it in scripts. Um, so let's talk about scripts. Uh, we'll create a script, file, new, script. And notice this is a blank page. There's no template because the script is basically a blank page. I can write anything I want on it. Um, so now I'm going to do num1 equals, and I have to set a value, let's say 1, and num 2 equals 2, and let's say num 3 equals 3, uh, and then I'm going to go um, avg equals num 1 plus num 2 plus num 3, and then divide that by 3, um, and then that's the value that's going to get returned. Okay, so then um, to, I can save it, so I can save. Notice it gives me untitled. It does not give me an automatic name because it's not a function and I can name a script anything I want. I'm going to call this my abg script and then it will put the dot m on the back end for me so I hit save and there's my abg script right there. And so that's the script. Now to run my script, to as I as the analogy I gave, to have the director call action, uh, I hit this green button here or push the F5 key and when I do so you notice my average script just ran and it gave me the average as well. Now let's look at the versatility of this. In order to change um, the, if I wanted to calculate the average of many sets of numbers, to, if I use my AVG then I just keep typing in, so if I want to do the average of 3, 4, and 5, type that in, it's very quick. Uh, if I want to do the average 
of um, you know seven, eight, and nine. Boom. And so I can just enter these parameters, and it will just continue. Uh, it will run the function and put those values in here, make the calculation, and give me the answer back. Um, if I do it the script way, I have to go in and actually change the values inside of the script uh, and then hit run and that will do it. So uh, a little bit different. I have to sort of go into the inner workings of the script and mess with it in order to get uh, a script to execute different entering value, input values as opposed to with a function I just enter the parameters directly. Um, another thing you can do is you can use so if I wanted to use um, function my average within this script, I can do that. And when I run it, notice I get the value 5 from this line and the value 2 from this line. Uh, so I can use functions in inside of scripts, whereas I can't use a script per se inside of anything. It's just that one script that runs. So this is a general overview of how to use functions. Um, and, and, and scripts and how to make functions and scripts and we will continue to use those as we go through the semester or go through the, the program.